Hey everybody, Love King here, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a completely different one, but I thought that I would make this video for clarity for my Discord server and for the community. Uh, today we're just going to be going over how to utilize our Discord's uh, Gamer's Paradise template to help you with your load orders. So right off the bat, this is where you could find the load order template. Uh, when you go into my Discord server, the first thing that you will see is the welcome room. Okay, you would type, hey, I'm here for load order help, and then we would give you the verified role. Uh, as a warning, just make sure that you read the rules before continuing to chat. Uh, there is a lot of good stuff to read about in here, so make sure you do read that uh, before getting banned or kicked from the server. Um, now, you would scroll all the way down to the main reason why you're here, and that would be Skyrim Xbox, or Skyrim on Xbox, excuse me. Uh, you would go down to load order help room and you would say, hey, uh, John, I, I seen your load order, but you know, I made a variant of it and I would love to make my own. Uh, so how do I do that? So you would type in here um, and here's a neat command for you when you join. Just type in lot. Uh, so it's question mark lot and it will bring up this command. And it says, build your load order off of this template. Now, I actually have both these sheets, my my personal load orders, and then this sheet here. So let's go into that. What does that look like? So this is the Gamer's Paradise load order template. The first thing you're going to notice is that it's, uh, well, one, it's, it's, it's huge. It's massive. And it can be a little bit daunting uh, at first, but... Uh, we made this so that it's very easy to navigate. Now, the first thing we have is color codes. Uh, this is when people are working on your load orders. Um, and then you also have the role play character sheet. And then at the bottom, if you scroll down, this is where the actual load order template exists. Uh, now, before I continue, I do want to give a great big shout out to Toxic. She's in our Discord server. She actually helped me uh, create this Google Sheets, because I actually don't know how to use Google Sheets. Uh, so without her, uh, this thing wouldn't even be uh, in existence. Uh, so this was really, and it was inspired by Snipey360's load order template. What I did was I ended up tweaking some of the names, moved things around so that it's more efficient. Uh, you'll see this, uh, and I'll talk about it down here at the bottom. In fact, I've moved water mods. Here we go. I've moved water mods and tree mods down at the bottom. And then uh, Laxifer uh, introduced me to the character sheet, which is really nice. Uh, and then we also have the section here, top of bottom load order. And that's any tweaks, uh, anything that has object removers, that kind of thing would go here. So very nice, very nice thing uh, that we got going on here. So let's talk about the role play character sheet. The roleplay character sheet allows you to name your load order. All right. Uh, now, before we even, because this is going to be blocked, you won't be able to touch this main piece here. Okay. Um, you want to click down here, this arrow, and then you want to hit duplicate. This will make a copy. Now, before you're even able to do so, there will be a section in here that will say request access. You won't see it on my side because I already have access. Um, but go ahead after you've made a duplicate, rename it so we know who you are. Um, John's subscriber. That way it's easy to track and I'm not working on somebody else's on accident, you know. Uh, and then so obviously this is an optional tab and then you would go down here. So this is the main load order template. Uh, so right off the bat you see Creation Club Mods. These four have been introduced to Skyrim Anniversary Edition as permanent mods that stay. Uh, they cannot be removed no matter what you do. Uh, so that's Fishing, Rare Curios, Saints and Seducers, and Survival Mode. Okay, so this is what it looks like, but let's go over to my template. Because uh, I already have things filled out. So, and at the bottom of this, and this is really so that you you understand what's going on without having to feel like you have to ask questions. Uh, we made it so that people who are also veterans but are also new can jump in here and have a better understanding of where things go. So right off the bat, you have master files. What is that? Uh, these mods are auto-loaded to the top of your load order. 
you cannot move them. These, uh, you cannot move these below any non-master file mod. So an example would be the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch or uh, the USMP unofficial Skyrim modders patch non-USSEP version. Uh, so a foundation. Foundations and new gameplay mechanics. Okay, mods that affect the whole game. Mods that make a lot of light edits. Uh, and mods that add an entirely new mechanic. There's really no easy answer here. That's because there's a lot that goes into uh, foundations. But to give you an example, uh, you have quality of life bug fixes. Uh, you have foundations to big old boogaloo. Uh, Tiny Sim is up above, as it should be in the description of Foundations 2. The Sim should be above it uh, for compatibility. You have non-USSEP uh, My Mod Bundle, a Cheat Room. So there's you can pause the video and you can see what are some examples uh, for Foundation. So let's move on. Uh, you have UI font menu changes. So an example would be Scry UI, Clear UI, Sensible uh, sensible HUD, really nice. Uh, audio music, this is really self-explanatory. You have Immersive Sounds Compendium, uh, 2021 Reverb, so a lot of audio music, again, self-explanatory. Uh, existing Quest Alterations, now this is, uh, Path to Volkir, uh, Volk Volkir, I know I butchered that. <laughs> Quest for Good Guys, uh, End Times, would go here. Craftable items only. Uh, that's if you go to the crafting station and it's, I mean, it's self-explanatory again. It's an item that you can only craft. Uh, and no, that doesn't mean a replaced item like uh, Nordwar, because yeah, you can craft those. But this is something that adds to the game, like iron armor, uh, staff casting. You would have to craft your staffs, that kind of thing. So uh, existing game mechanics, hide spots, better horses. That would go here. Uh, level progression. I didn't put anything in here, but 50% more perk points would be the example if you read this section here. Pretty nice. Uh, Vokri and Ordinator would go in the perk overhaul section. Uh, so now you're getting, you're kind of getting the, the feel for this, right? A lot of this is going to be handed to you. Uh, so you don't really have to do too much research, but if you feel like you need to do research, this is the best way to do it, right? You would go into the website, and you can do this on mobile, and you can type in a mod. You can type in, uh, here we go, Amulets of the Nine Divines, and you can figure out where that mod is going to go by skimming through the description. I know a lot of people don't like to read descriptions, but this is helpful. So if you scroll down, you can automatically see what a mod does. Okay, you know that it's an amulet, okay, of the Nine Divines. So, you, Amulet of Akatosh. So, right away, you know that this is editing, and we're going to go here, the item attributes, and you would put it here. So, sometimes it just takes a little bit to get used to. Um, with practice, you can basically skim through all of the description and you'll know uh, where to put it. All right, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this helpful video. Uh, sorry if it was a little bit too long, but I wanted to cover the basics of this load order template and how to actually get help in my community. Uh, we are a server dedicated to helping you mod your Skyrim and making it as good as it should be. I also want to give a special uh, shout out again to Ms. Toxic and Lexifer for helping me with the server. You guys are amazing. I uh, also want to give a shout out to my guard, uh, Nappa. Also goes by Midnight. Uh, he's been a very grateful help. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.